My name is Sabrina and I'm from Greenup, Kentucky. I pretty much lived with my mom most of my life. My daughter, Jensen, was a princess. I went to work on February 25th and I came home. I found out I lost my mother, my six-year-old daughter, and my aunt in the fire. After they passed away, the car became symbolic to me. It was the one thing that hadn't been taken. It's kind of a tradition, you know, with my mom to name the vehicles that she has. And Jensen said, we should name it Sylvia. We would go on pretend adventures. When I sat in Sylvia, I could hear him laughing and talking. And that's why it was so difficult when it was repossessed. I knew when they took the car, I would never be able to touch her hands again. I decided to write a letter to the new owner. Just let him or her know how important this car was, that it had a life before that, and it was really special. In the glove box, I found the letter. The letter touched me so much, I wanted to go share it with the world. I posted it, and it went viral. My name is Tammy, and I'm from Hutchinson, Kansas. I was surfing the web, and I came across a letter. It was from a lady that had lost her family in a fire. All that she had left was a car. I just thought, gosh, this woman has been through all of this. She has got to have this car back. I set up a fundraiser online. I messaged Kevin. I told him what I wanted to do, and Kevin said, yes, absolutely. I've told Sabrina that I'm coming to visit, but what she doesn't know is that me, Kevin, and his daughter, Jaden, will be bringing Sylvia back to her. My name is Nefertari Nelson. I'm 43 years old. I'm a divorced single mother of five children. <laughs> my mother and father separated when I was six years old. And I asked my mom, am I going to ever see my father again? And she said, um, Nephi, Robert is not your father. My best friend, Dee Dee, she's 12 years older than me. Dee Dee was a very important person in my life, and she called me her sister. We grew up around the corner from one another. My dad died when I was 13 of a massive coronary. I have issues with my heart. Nephi has. I believe she has my father's heart. When Nephi was born, my dad said that she was my sister, and there is absolutely no doubt for me she's my sister. For my live moment, I would like to find out if Dee Dee is my sister, which will also tell me who my dad was. Because I have five children, and if anything were to happen to me, they need to know if they have any family. While pregnant with my fifth child, that's where my world changed. I suffered a massive heart attack. I didn't know if I was gonna see the next day. I'm heading over to Dee Dee's house today. I want to ask you if we can do a DNA test to find out if we are biologically sisters. You paying? I'm paying. <laughs> <laughs> And I'll go ahead and do it. Oh my God, the day is here. Are you ready? This is such a huge moment for me. And the fact that you did this means so much to me. I am very nervous about these results. I don't know if I'm going to find out whether the woman that I believed to be my sister all my life will be my biological sister. I'm hoping for the best, preparing for the worst. I have the results of the DNA testing, and after doing a battery of DNA tests, I determined that the probability of relatedness was 30%. So we fall in that. So you're in that range, which is inconclusive. It could be a relationship or maybe not. However, when I looked at these re results closer, the number of matching markers that you have is more than 50%. <gasps> 19 of the 33. <laughs> which is consistent that you are sisters. Brina. <laughs> you know, we've worked so hard and tried to get the money all together, and I yeah. just wanted you to know there is Sylvia. She is, <laughs> she's yours. Kevin. Sabrina, <laughs> you know, you talked about her feet on the dash. Yeah. I still see some dirt there. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Yeah. I feel so close to her now. <laughs> you don't know what kind of gift this is to be able to touch this. Thank you for that. That is You're a very, very, You're very welcome. A very special gift.